Did you know that Railway Series book, Really Useful Engines, has a glaring error that completely ruins the timeline of the Railway Series? And here is why. Okay, so we all know about Thomas the Tank Engine, the iconic blue train with a face and a number one. Now, there is actually an Thomas's basis has an interesting story. Thomas was originally meant to be an LNER J50, but the illustrator, Reginald Payne, I believe he was, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Reginald Payne, illustrated Thomas as an E2, and Audrey allowed it. However, while he gave Thomas the curve running board at the front, he gave him the flat running board at the back, which is actually inaccurate to real life steam locomotives. So, in book 16, Branch Line Engines, Thomas basically crashed into the, um, the station master's house and he went to the works just to get the curve running board removed and become a little bit less E2 like. So, the, basically, the whole story what Audrey wrote for Thomas Comes to Breakfast is that Thomas crashed into the station master's house, and that's why he got the dip in the running board removed. And that's basically the whole plot of the book, by the way. Kind of. Well, the main reason why this book has to happen, but okay. And he has the flat running board ever since. However, this book actually ruins the whole timeline. And here's why. So, compare the two pictures together. Do you see anything? Do you see anything? Yes. Thomas is illustrated with a curved running board in a book that takes place after he got his flat running board added. Now, I probably... I probably know what everyone's going to say in the comment section below. Why? Why is Thomas illustrated like this, kind of, when he's nearly identical to his his past version? Well, here's the reason why. The new Railway Series illustrator, Clive Spawn, when he was illustrating really useful engines, he was also illustrating other row series books that were not tied to the actual series. And I'm talking about releases from Wilbur's original books like Flying Kipper and Henry Henry the Green Engine, Henry the Green Engine Gets Wet, etc. And also some interesting things. If you see this book Sodor's the island of Sodor, its people, history, and railways. It has the sort of similar illustrations from really useful engines, and you can see here. Hang on, Thomas is illustrated with the curved running board, and in the railway map, the island of Sodor. Thomas is illustrated with the curve running board. And by the next book, James and the Diesel Engines, he actually improved of the illustrations and they are much better. But Thomas does not appear in this book. Then in Great Little Engines, again, he did good. But there was no Thomas. So it wasn't until like. Years later, around um, 1985 or 1986, yeah, I think this book was published in 1986, I believe. Yep, I think it was published in 1986. Thomas returns, and he has the flat running board. Realizing his mistakes, he actually fixed the mistakes of the book. And now Thomas is back how he, he should be. I don't know how this happened in the first place, but it's an interesting part of Thomas Media that 
we actually got to see more. Hope you enjoyed this little video, but we're not done yet. Did you know that on the back covers of my copy of Really Useful Engines, Great Little Engines, and James and Diesel Engines, you could actually see the list of books that um, still need to be pub that you could still get. And the newest book was in Great Little Engines, the newest book for that range was Thomas and the Great Railway Show. However, this book um, doesn't have it on the back, but instead just have the stories. However, if you open the book, like like over here, you would find that Thomas and the Fat Controller's Engines was the next book after this. Well, actually it wasn't. I don't know how this happened, but... Were the books, were these real leases, or were they protect, going to tell you what, what were the next books that will come out? I don't know, but it is an interesting part of media of the Railway series. So if you have any of Christopher Audrey's books, I suggest you check either at the back of the, back of the book, or check the area where the books will be coming. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out and goodbye.